floss tube. I'm Micah and I am the ADHD stitcher and this is my floss tube channel where I will talk about all things cross stitch and sometimes maybe some ADHD things and sometimes whatever else pops into my brain. <laughs> so today is, well I'm filming on September 10th, 2021 and this is my fourth floss tube video. Um, we've made it to four <laughs> and I am actually getting close to 200 subscribers um, I think I'm at, I'm at 180 something um, I don't remember what exactly but um, when we make it up to 200 I will maybe do our first giveaway and I'm really sorry my cat is jumping into a box full of tissue paper and stuff hey quit and, um, probably picked a bad time I think they're ready to get wild so it could get loud <laughs> but anyway so yeah so if we make it to 200 so maybe next week um, maybe we'll do a little giveaway I had some a thought in mind of something that um, that I could do for a giveaway so that would be fun um, first of all I want to say thank you to a couple of people um, uh, there, I had a couple of shout outs this week on other floss tubes and so I want to say thank you to OG Stitchery. She mentioned my channel and I appreciated it so much so go show her some love. And Crystal Rowe. Um, Crystal is a floss tuber that had been recommended to me um, by a commenter. Hi Rebecca. Thank you. <laughs> um, she had mentioned that she thought that that I would really enjoy her and I really have. Um, she has a son who has ADHD and is autistic and um, so you know there are lots of ways that we can uh, we obviously connect on that level and I've really enjoyed watching her videos and seeing the things that she stitches and she does little stitch with me videos that are lots of fun and that's something I may look at doing in the future I don't know though if I just stitch and talk to the camera for a while it could <laughs> I don't know what we'll talk about you never know. <laughs> I've also thought about doing maybe some live stitching videos, um, streaming it, just because I like hanging out with people and I like watching those videos, even if I'm watching them afterwards. I enjoy watching them and watching people interact and stitch. Um, okay, so I have a question for everybody that I would love for y'all to answer in the comments, and um, I'll I'll say it again at the end. That way, you don't have to try to remember it for the entire video. But I, I've been curious as to what length videos those of you who are watching my videos enjoy. Um, do you enjoy the longer ones, like, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, or do you like them shorter? Um, you know, like less than 30 minutes. Um, I know with me, it depends on the week how long I think a video will be. Of course, I didn't think my video last week would be very long, and it was an hour almost close to it if it wasn't I can't remember exactly how long it was anyway not important so yeah just answer that in the comments if you don't mind because I'm just curious what people prefer I know myself a lot of times I like longer videos but you know everybody has different preferences so I'm just curious what different people like um also I hope you all enjoyed the meme last week I know at least one of you did. I did get one comment of someone who enjoyed the meme. <laughs> now, so this week, I have, of course, our new meme of the week. And so it will be here. And so here in our meme this week, we have a cat. I think that's, I think that's the baby cat on Tom and Jerry. I think, I think that's, I think that's him. Um, but so he is obviously mad. He's got like some red laser eyes happening. And it says, me on my way to accuse everyone of moving the stuff I misplaced. I don't do that at all. <laughs> I do that all the time, especially to my husband. But in my defense, he usually has moved it because he cleaned it up. But I knew where it was. Yeah, it was in a giant pile. But I knew <laughs> that it was in that pile. And then he cleaned it up. <laughs> ADHD. <laughs> this is a pretty typical ADHD kind of thing here. 
Um, but yeah, I definitely do that. And I'll be running around. Did you move this? Did you move this? Have you? What did you do with this? Nobody touched it, and I just don't know where it went. Also, I'm guilty of putting something in a safe place and not remembering where that safe place is. I've told my husband I need to um, get like a bin or a basket or something and put a label on it. <laughs> Maybe I can stitch one that says the safe place or says somewhere safe. That way when I say I put it somewhere safe, there's a basket that says that and that's where all the things are. <laughs> And he's gotten, there's been a couple times he's gotten Christmas presents many months later because I hid them and couldn't remember where. <laughs> so, fun times. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, today, um, today, sorry, the cat's doing something loud again. Claudia's in here walking around tonight, too. Maybe she'll come over here close enough to me so I can pick her up and show y'all, show her to y'all. Um, but, uh, yes, today, September 10th, and this is my anniversary. Um, tonight, my husband and I celebrated our 16th anniversary of being married. We've been together for 19 years total. Um, but we got married 16 years ago, and, um, tonight, well, today and tonight, we celebrated, um, my stepmother picked up the kids from school, so they were going to spend the night with my stepmother and my dad and have a nice grandparents' night while we could go out. Um, so we went this afternoon. We decided we were going to go eat at a nice restaurant in Memphis called Flight. We had not been to yet, and we'd heard good things about. I'm sorry, my cat's distracted me playing with stuff. And um, I have not had a chance yet to go to my LNS, my local needle shop, needle workshop. And that is Stitchers, Inc. in Memphis. And so we planned to go a little early so I could go and, and pick up a few things. And I had pre-ordered a couple of patterns um, from Expo, from Needlework Expo from them. And they were in. So we went early and I got to do some shopping. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> You'll see all the shopping I did. I don't think I'm going to be allowed to shop for a while. <laughs> um just some bonus anniversary shopping and then we went to eat at flight and it's a really cool restaurant um that was really good food they do what they call flights of things like um instead so that you can try more things like for instance like on the entrees i had the seafood flight and instead of like one a plate of like one big thing it was like three small plates of different things and it, but it's like the side and everything that would go with it um, and um, I can stick some pictures over here I'm talking about it and we had oh, we had this appetizer the appetizer we had were these mini beef Wellingtons and they were so good never actually had beef Wellington because my small town it's not you know one of those things that you're gonna see anywhere <laughs> it's definitely Nobody in my family has ever cooked that, <laughs> but um, they were so good. All the food was really, really good. Um, I had seafood, the seafood flight, and my husband had um, the steak flight, and he had, um, on it was a, uh, which one of the steaks was beef, and then one was elk, which we neither of us had ever had, and the other one was bison, which I also don't think either of us had ever had, um, but we... We all we purposefully got different things so that we could let each other oops, be able to taste those things. And then we had the lovely dessert flight, and we did our own thing on that. We mixed up a few. We had a chocolate lava cake and uh, creme brulee and pecan crusted cheesecake. Was it pecan crusted? No, some kind of nut crusted cheesecake. They were all so good. It was a really really good dinner, and it was really nice to uh, go out to the to a fancy place with just us and be able to sit and enjoy food and have a good time. And I'm sorry, I, this cat's really distracted me. Um, so yeah, so it was a really great night. And like I said, I got to do some great shopping at Stitchers Inc. And it was so much fun. And I was glad to get to meet the ladies there and finally get to go poke around in the shop and look at all the different things. And which I'll talk more about that when I get there. 
So let's start with the stitching stuff. Get a drink. So first of all, FFOs, fully finished objects. I do have two. Um, I showed y'all last week that I had finished the stitching on a couple of things and um, I did get them fully finished this week. Um, so here is my Hallow's Eve that was a um, Sub Rosa freebie off of her blog or their blog. Um, if you go, if you search Sub Rosa blog, maybe put cross stitch in there too, you'll be able to find it. Um, but um, so I, I stitched this just with some, let me see, I actually wrote it to them. Um, I did this on some leftover Fiddler's Ada that I had that's 14 count Charles Craft Gold Standard. And I just used um, DMC 310 and then another DMC for the orange that I had, I think uh, 976 is what it was. And um, put that on a sticky board. And then this is foam core, which I didn't fully close off the back so you can see. This is foam core that has um, fabric that I just upended it around the sides and then glued it on the back to keep it flat. And then um, I glued the lace, which this is some Lady Dot um, Creates lace, which I'll show you that when I get to haul. But um, I glued that to the back of this. I started to stitch it, but that was just going to take me a really long time. So I just glued it. And then I glued it onto the board just to sit on my Halloween display shelves, which I'll show you whenever I get all my stuff out. Hopefully I'm going to get that stuff out this weekend. That's my hope is to get my boxes out of the attic this weekend, but my husband has to do that because they're too heavy. <laughs> so, yeah. And then my other FFO was Witch's Dance, which is also from Sub Rosa. This was a pattern that I bought on their Etsy. And this is, um, it was on a 32 count Murano car in rust, which this fabric is, um, it's not a linen, it's an even weave, but it's, you know, a non-Ada fabric that I'd gotten at Hobby Lobby that wasn't too expensive. That wasn't expensive at all. Um, and then just use the DMC 310 and DMC 3866. And so I showed you this last week that it's just a wooden canvas that I noticed when I flipped it over had a sunken in back to it which was actually about closer to the size for what I wanted and I actually have not even glued this in here I just stuck it in there but I again cut foam core to the size I needed and pinned the uh, piece around the edges where it was nice and flat and then I've just stuck it in there I, like I said I haven't glued it just because I mean it wasn't necessary it's even hard to get out when you want to so it's not like it's gonna be an issue sitting on the shelf um but yeah so I was really excited I was happy with how this turned out I really liked it and um I'll probably well I will do this kind of finish again I'm sure for different things so those were my FFOs I did not have any finished objects this week um so we will move to whips works in progress um this first one's not gonna look like it's progress because so i realized if and if you're if you follow me on instagram you will have seen what happened but so this first one is um stacy nash primitives oh, let me pull this out so you can see it there it's Stacy Nash Primitives um, Halloween at Hollyberry Farm, and um, there's, let me get the picture closer. So this is what I'm working on. And last week I had several of part of this down to here and a tiny bit of that done. Um, what I realized shortly after making the video was that. Like I had noticed, I seen that the white 
leaves on the flowers looked lighter than the ones most of the pictures I'd seen from other people's work. And I got to looking at the pattern. Well, I was supposed to be using two strands of the white. And that would have driven me insane if I hadn't changed it. So I quite literally frogged all the white. I probably had about that much done. I frogged all the white that was on there and redid it with two. And I've gotten a, a couple more flowers in there. But so I had to redo so much of this that you can't tell progress has been made on it. But I did a lot of stitching on it <laughs> for a couple of days and I was frustrated. I was mad at myself and at it. So I put it away <laughs> for the rest of the week. And I haven't touched it since then because I was mad. <laughs> so I do, I'm going to get back to that soon. Um, but so after I put that away, I decided to start my, um, oh, and I don't know where that picture is. I showed it to you last week. I'll try to put it over here. Um, it's the, um, Story Stitches Stitch Along. Sorry, I'm trying to find the card. Yeah, it's the Nightmare Before Christmas Stitch Along from Story Stitches. And they released the, um, frame last week and they will start releasing the pieces for the squares um, on October 1st. They released a, they released the frame early though because it's a lot. And I started on that and got a lot done and then had started marking because I like to use, if you don't know, you can get friction pins. They are from Ball. But you can use a ball. It'll focus. You can use a ball friction pin. And, um, which these are clickers. They're erasable pins. But you can also use them on fabric. Because these are ones that are, um, I don't know. I don't know heat soluble or I don't know if heat soluble is a thing but <laughs> they go away with heat so um after so a lot of times I'll use them to like mark the center or something and uh, you can use them to mark out on your fabric where something goes if you just want to mark the outline and then fill it in um and then when you're done you could of course wash it if it's a piece that you're going to wash or you can just hit it with the blow dryer on on heat high heat and it just disappears. I've heard some of the other colors because it does come in lots of colors. I've heard some of the other colors. Sometimes you might have trouble getting it to completely go away. But with the black, I've had no trouble at all getting it to go away. And a warning if you live somewhere where it gets really cold and like maybe if you keep some of your things in the attic for the next year or whatever, um, if it gets below freezing, it will... Is it below freezing or below zero? I, don't, I think freezing. Um, it will show back up the ink will show back up. So you might have to hit it again when you take it out. But anyway, I'd started marking that off and I realized that I was stitching it in the wrong direction on my fabric and I was not going to have room. So here's a picture of how far I'd gotten. And then I frogged all of that and started over again. And this, the fabric I'm using is some of my haul that I got earlier in the week. It is a DMC Charles Craft Iridescent Ada in white, and it's a 14 count. Now, it's still, even though I've switched it the way it's supposed to go, it's still going to be really close to the edge, so don't panic. This is the furthest over it'll go, and it'll be about the same on the other side. I don't know if you can see the iridescence. With the, ooh, yikes. Blowout. Um, sorry. I don't know if you can see any of the shine or not in the video, but <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to help. But uh, it is iridescent, so uh, and I thought that would be cute with the Nightmare Before Christmas. But um, what I'm going to do is, it came, they had already, it was pinked. They had used pinking shears. That's how it was packed. Um, but I'm going to cut it straight and then I, I'm gonna do a blanket stitch which wish me luck because I haven't done that before but I'm just gonna do a blanket stitch all around because I think what I want to do is make 
I don't know, either put it on a rod or something, but make it like a hanging. And I think actually I saw on Amazon, they have little like poster hangers that are wood and there's a clamp at the top and a clamp at the bottom that holds it. So I might try to find one of those, but um, do something like that to hang it up on the wall and not do like a full frame on it. Um, Cause I will probably not have it out all the time, uh, even though I love Nightmare Before Christmas and I mean love Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I probably won't have it out all the time. I'll probably rotate it out, but so anyway, so you can see where I restarted, didn't get real far. So I'm, I'm outlining right now. So then after I outline, I'll know I can just go back in and fill. And here's an example of using the friction pen on that to mark out some of the blocks. Sorry, the cats are being crazy. Um, that way I'll know. So that was, this was a frustrating week because two different things that I'd put a lot of work on that were just completely wrong and had to be this one completely frogged and the other one a lot of frog. So after that I was annoyed <laughs> and I wanted a win. So I started a small and it's not done. I don't, I don't think I can show you the pattern. I don't have a picture of it and I can't show you the pattern. I'll look, I'll look on her blog again and see if there's a picture of it finished. There might, may or may not be. If there is, I'll put it in the corner. If there's not anything in the corner, then you know there wasn't a picture. But um, this isn't completely done. It looks a little bit like it, but it's not. The, this is a spider. So he'll have um, a piece of web in his legs. Um, but there's also like a an orange outline, like a big moon kind of outline behind it I haven't and you and it's filled in uh, I haven't done that yet but I will be doing that soon and um, I'll show you my plans for how I'm gonna finish that off when I get to haul also so I worked on that which again this was another freebie from Sabrosa blog can you tell I like Sabrosa <laughs> and then the last thing I've worked on this week which is also a new start was um, I uh, started my outline for the Stitchonomy Storybook Halloween Stitch Along. And, um, which way is, I don't even know which way is up at this point, but it really doesn't matter. But, so I've started it. And it's going to uh, look like a book. But these are some of the frames. And this one starts releasing on the 17th? It starts releasing in the next week. Um, and those squares will release. I don't think it's one every day. I think it may be one every other day. No, maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I don't remember. Anyway, those will be releasing. <laughs> and uh, I'll be stitching those as we go. Hopefully. That's the plan. And this is another piece of that Charles Craft, um, the DMC Charles Craft Carolina Linen 14 count that I had an extra roll of. So I used that for that. And that's all my whips that I worked on this week. Um, I am planning to, whoops. Um, well, and I have been working, I haven't actually started stitching, but I have worked on, um, my commission, I'd mentioned a commission I'm doing for a family, a stitch people, a uh, family portrait, custom family portrait. So I've been um, working on that pattern. I've got to finalize that pattern tomorrow and get it finalized with the client. And then I'll begin stitching that. And that one, once I get all the approvals on that, I'll probably just focus on that and get it done and finished for them so they can have it um, before I go back to my fun stitching. Because those, those, those are fun. They're fun stitching. I guess personal stitching, <laughs> I should say. Um, <laughs> they're still crazy. I feel like I'm talking really, really fast tonight. If I am, I'm sorry. But anyway, <laughs> on to haul. So, um, one of the things that I mentioned, um, when I talked about 
here we go. This this little piece. I talked about how I was gonna finish it. Um, at Michael's, I found some of these little guys. Little wood. It's wood shadow box, and it should be just about the right size. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Um, that this will fit right inside the in, in the inside of this. So I'm gonna do it just like I did the bigger Sabrosa one. I'm gonna paint these up. I, I've got three just like this, and then I've got two that are a little bit longer and shorter. And so um, I'll just paint them up as I have projects to go in them. That way I can, if I need to paint it, if it's like not, not Halloween, um, I can paint it something different. And um, here's another another thing. I explained in the last video how I painted that. But would um, would you be, if you'd be interested in me filming my painting on this, which I can speed it up so you, you don't have to watch the slowness. But um, just so you can see exactly what I do. Um, let me know in the comments and I can do that. It's not a problem at all. So, um, that's how I'm going to finish what I'm going to use those for. And then, let's see. I got, um, the Lady Doc Creates, whoops, I showed you earlier. I got the, um, some of the lace in, um, Mary Jane's Thanks. and then I got some of the little pom-poms in black pearl I thought those were cute and those were you know they're not exactly the same but they complement each other so they could be used on the different Halloween things and I ordered these um, I had joined Lindy Stitch's newsletter and when you when I did that I got a little coupon and so I just I knew she had these in her shop um, and I wanted to peruse some of her stuff <laughs> so I just ordered these from her shop and got a cute little card with a cute little um, pattern for that little mouse isn't it cute so that came with it so that was sweet and I'm in, uh, in I really like these these are really nice um, they're hand dyed. If you don't know about Lady Dot Creates trims, these are all hand dyed. They're really nice. Definitely recommend them. What am I doing? Um, so that's what I that's what I used for that. Sorry. That's what I used. That that's the Lady Dot Creates lace. Um. Then. Also, when we went to Michael's on that trip, I got some needles, which you don't care about. You know what needles look like. And I got um, some DMC Diamant. And <laughs> I just threw it across the room. Oh. Well. in D5200. It's like a, it's like a sparkly. Oh my goodness, the light. Here. Well, you can't see it if I do that. It's a sparkly white. Um, to use for when I start our wedding portrait. Um, <laughs> for the top part of my dress, because the top part of my dress had beads on it. Um, so yeah. There it is. <laughs> um, and then I also saw um, that Twin Peak Primitives had released this super cute haunted house sampler um, box. Like it was like a kit, limited edition kit with like needle minders, well, a needle minder and um, a floss drop. Well, no, a floss. I can't. My brain's done. Anyway, it had lots of cute stuff in it. <laughs> but, um, it was a little bit out of the range for the whole kit for, because I, I mean, I don't, I didn't really need everything that was with it. 
But then, due to selling out quickly and popular demand, they released the pattern as a PDF. And uh, I went and got it. Because <laughs> it's just too cute. And it calls for all DMCs. So I have all that. But you could easily, like, probably the only place I would sub something in, maybe on the cat and the house, if you wanted um, some fancy floss with some variation in it. But I think the rest is actually would be really good in DMC. Hey, don't chew that. No. Let me see if I can grab her if she's going to run away. Come here. Here's Claudia. You haven't got to meet her yet. Say hi, internets. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you... <laughs> she wants to go. Go get your sister. Okay. Um, and um, Emily C. Um, had put on her Instagram, which is Eclectic Possessions, um, that she was going to do a stitch along and do starting October 13th, hashtag haunted house sampler style. And so that gives you uh, plenty of time to get together all the stuff to make it. And we get to stitch around Halloween. Why is she, now she's chewing a box. Why? Why? <laughs> anyway, it was really, really cute. And I love it so much. So I got it. We're gonna do it. Um, then today, as I said earlier, we went to um, Stitchers Inc. in Memphis before we went on our fancy dinner. And um, I, got, I got several things. Um, which I had pre-ordered, like I said, I would pre-ordered two things. Pre-ordered Cleocatra from Bendy Stitchy because our other cat, Cleo. No, Claudia. Hey, uh-uh. No, no. We don't chew that. That's, that's, not, that's not good for you. Um, the other cat that Cleo that you've met in other videos, her full name is Cleocatra. So when I got saw that, I knew it had to be stitched. And I think I'm gonna order the silky threads and do it in the silky threads because since it's something small, give them a shot and see how pretty they are. But it's not huge at the same time, so it's not like I'd have to buy a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So that was a pre-order that I had gotten and they had gotten that in. And the other thing I had pre-ordered was hands-on design. Let's talk stitching. So I thought that was super, super cute. I thought that'd be really cute in here, back there somewhere. Um, and I might change up some of the colors. We'll see. Because I've got kind of a, uh, it's like a blush pink, and which the walls aren't painted, but eventually they'll be gray, maybe if it ever happens. Um, but I've got gray stuff and blush pink and like metallic gold in here, so I might do that. I just realized the fan is still going. I got the thing to turn it off and it's still going. I'm sorry if that's been really loud and annoying the whole time. And if the dingling from the wind chime has been loud probably not fun anyway so I got that one also those were the two that I had pre-ordered and then of course you know can't just get those I got from Lindy stitches cats love Christmas and these are super cute so it's cats love Christmas the cat eviction notice and accident free days zero because <laughs> that's definitely what it's going to be like when we get the trees up with these two it'll be interesting going from a 17 year old cat who didn't have the energy to climb up a tree anymore to two kittens they're, less, they're still less than a year old so they're still technically kittens they'll be getting close to a year at Christmas but still that'll be that'll be an interesting time so I got that one and for that I got the called for threads the, the called for fancy flosses because I likely have the DMC but um so I got the fancy flosses that were called for for that and this is really cute on the back of ooh, on the back of oh my goodness <laughs> oh me on the uh, back of the 
the pattern. She has this cute little blurb about her cat. My cat Walter adores the holidays. His favorite festivities include tripping people while they decorate the tree, squashing presents, and biting low-hanging ornaments. His favorite part is Christmas morning when he insists on being buried in a giant pile of cast-off gift wrap. He keeps Christmas classy. I thought that was cute. So, I'll be doing that to make up some ornaments for Christmas. And then, um, this was one that I love, absolutely love this book. And they had a copy, so I grabbed it. It's the Winds of Autumn from Hands On Design, or from Black Blackbird Designs. Um, and it's got, I loved all the projects that are in here. Um, that I'd seen, but especially the Halloween ones, of course, because, you know, that's what I do. Like, I love these two. They're super cute, and there's a really pretty, like, autumn sampler style house. Um, I'm not sure I'm not holding it up too high. Find the one I'm talking about. Um, and I know that they have said that Barb who's one of the designers she passed away this summer and they've said that they've got good supply good stock of things that it's not you know nobody has to worry about things going away or anything like that but at the same time I'm the kind of person that like I loved these so I wanted to get it when I saw it and knew I could get it this is another really cute one I like that one's called waiting for the harvest and then, sorry, this one is called, this is the sampler style when I was talking about, it's called Mighty Acorn. I thought that one's really, really pretty. So at some point I'll stitch it. I don't know, probably not this year. We'll see when. Someday, eventually. And um, I saw so many really cute Halloween patterns that I wanted, um, especially several different ones that had come out at Expo. But <laughs> I'm trying to remember all the Halloween that I already have going and remember that that's, I, I don't have time to do a whole bunch more. That a lot of those are ones that I can get online as PDFs. Um, next year or you know if they still have them in the shop then I can get it in the shop if not I can get it as a PDF next year um, around fall because I need to start thinking about my Christmas stitching because I'm gonna want a lot of Christmas stuff because I really I really don't have I've cross stitched for th probably 30 years because I'm 38 years old and I learned at about eight years old so I've been I've been cross stitching for 38 years which I mean really more regularly since college really even more regularly the past few years but um and I, I don't really have a whole lot of Christmas decorations I have one piece um I did a stitch people family of us with their Christmas patterns which I'll show you at Christmas time anyway I know I'm gonna want Christmas stuff so it's like okay I need to stop buying hey don't do that sorry no no. I'm still watching you. <laughs> I don't know why, but at night she attacks this lamp in our living room. I think it, every time it moves, it, there are shadows across the ceiling and she stares at them and thinks they're bugs or something. I'm not really sure. Who knows? She's a weird cat. Anyway. So I know that I need to start getting um, some more Christmassy, wintry things. Just why, for one thing, I got that one. Um, because otherwise, I'm gonna get to that time and be like, wait, but I don't have anything. I don't need to buy all these things. So I decided to put a halt on the <laughs> Halloween and start moving towards winter and Christmas. No, no, I see. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um, but so. Moving more towards winter and Christmas. Um, I also picked up um, the hands-on design Let's Talk Winter. Um, they had 
a really cute, nicely stitched, um, let's talk autumn up on the wall. It was super cute. My husband, um, yeah, so let me mention that. My husband, <laughs> my husband was with me while we were shopping, while I was shopping, and he knew. <laughs> I told him, I said, he asked me how long I would need. And I said, mm -hmm, 30 minutes to an hour because it's going to be my first time going. I'm going to want to poke around and everything. And so uh, we got there about an hour before closing and we shut her down. But so he uh, he found a chair right when we got in there. He's like, there's a chair. That has my name on it. <laughs> so he sat in his chair and he played games on his phone unless I was trying to show him something. Um, but so he was just hanging out while I was looking at everything. And he had seen some of the pieces up on the wall. And he had seen, uh, I think he, it was the Let's Talk Autumn that he had, had noticed. And thought that it was really cute. And so then I'd shown him the other ones in the series. And he really liked those. And that's, I'd said, I told him that I'd, I'd thought about doing these. Um, and just, you know, having them in a certain spot and switching them out as the seasons go. And he liked that idea. So I got the Let's Talk Winter. So I can start with that one. And then we will work on from there. And for those chalkboard, the two different um, hands-on design chalkboard ones, I picked up some um, 32 count Lugana in charcoal gray. It's from, um, it's from Zweigart. And it's not, it's not handout or anything. It's just the solid charcoal gray. We'll see how that goes. I know I can I can stitch on black Ada perfectly fine. Which if you've if you've watched um, this, you've seen a couple of things that are on black Ada. Um, well, actually, you can see something on black Ada right there. Um, I enjoy stitching on black Ada, especially as as long as I have a light and I can kind of hold it up and see. But that's the easy thing with Ada is you can hold it up and see the holes. This will be a little bit harder. I've heard some people say they use a light box. Or something like that. So I might use like one of the kids' tablets and put it behind it if I need to. Um, we'll just see how that goes. And I also got oh, mm, I also got some 32 count um, country French cafe mocha from Witchell to try out. And again, it's not hand dyed or anything like that, but it's um, I really like the look of it. Cause it's, it's kind of a, it's got a primitive look without being anything crazy. And even though it's not, you know, like dirty up hand dyed or anything, it still looked, I thought a more primitive kind of thing, but I wanted to get, I wanted to get some linen for some of the things that I'd like to make, especially like pillows. I just feel like the linen would be better than the Ada. Which I I have interfacing that I I put on all my cross all my all my stitch people designs just to make sure that the back is sealed up and nothing's gonna do anything crazy and it also kind of makes it pop a little bit better too because I used black anyway um so that it would be fine if I used it for a pillow but anyway I digress. And I got two um, Emil Hill buttons and beads kits. I've been wanting to try these as well. Ooh. So I got this Halloween one, Midnight Glow. And then I got one of the Christmas Village, the Village Inn. And these are, these are really pretty. Um, it's, you probably can't tell from the picture, but like the little light bulbs on the lights are beads. Um, the little, um, words. I said the word earlier. <laughs> anyway, but like that's made out of beads. Um, garland. That, that's the word, the little garland. Um, one of the things that they had, um, on their sample wall that was really, really pretty, and the model that they had stitched, um, one of the ladies was telling me that when the Christmas Village house this first came out, there were six of them, and that's all they knew there was going to be. And so, they stitched them all, like, in a row 
on a piece of linen and framed it. And it is so, so cute. Of course, she said now there are 24. <laughs> so, she's not going to try to add those on. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but it was really pretty the way she had that done up. But what I thought about doing is maybe, um, I might, if I, if I enjoy doing this, <laughs> um, I might do a new Christmas Village house every year. That would be fun. Um, and if, if you don't know about the buttons and beads kits, um, it, it's a kit that has everything you need in it. They have, um, the floss, they use perforated, the, um, perforated paper and it'll have like a specialty button that goes with it. It'll have the beads that go with it and the floss and they have, they do have, um, they have frames that they make that fit around all of them in lots of different colors. So you can even get the frames that go with it. Um, I didn't get the frames because I don't know what I'm going to, exactly what I want to do with them yet. We'll see. Um, so I got those. And then I got, um, I got some extras of some of the flosses that I'm using. I got this actually. I only need one for what I'm, hi. Oh, you saw the floss. Come here. Here's Cleo. Say hi. Hello, internet. <laughs> um, but I got an extra of this to do um, the big orange moon kind of thing in the background of this. I thought that would be pretty to do with a um, with an overdyed uh, floss. Um, Oh, and then I wanted to get another of the shaker white that I'm using for the leaves on um, Halloween at Hollyberry Farm since I had to frog so much of that. Um, some of it I was able to salvage, but not a lot of it. Um, and it's the way I can use this because it's, it's mostly in small patches, so it would be okay if they are from, do happen to be from a different dye lot. But there's also um, a chunk of the house that uses, well, which this is not actually the color it calls for. It's the color that I subbed for. Um, there's a big chunk of the house that uses this too, though. And um, so I could use, so I'd have a whole skein just for the house if I wanted. And then I got some extra of one of the blacks just because I wanted it to use on different stuff. Then also, while I was there, I looked at the um, Threadworks hand over dyed floss. And this one is number 1148 and it's really pretty. I don't I don't know how true it'll show, but I thought these colors like it's there's like grayish blackish into green into orange into purple. Um and it's a lighter orange. It's a more yellowy lighter orange. But I thought that that could be really pretty for some Halloween stuff. Um, like some of these smalls patterns that I have found that are kind of all just one thing. That that would be, that could be really pretty for something like that. And I also got um, another Threadworks hand over dyed that is number 1085 to do for this for same same thing for some Christmas stuff. I thought that one was really pretty also. So, I think that's all my haul. I think I do have a little bit more haul coming in the mail. It's not here yet, but it'll be here soon that I'm excited about, and I can show you that next week. Um, so, yeah, that's all my haul. It's enough. <laughs> it's more than enough. And that's probably, with the exception of, like, the couple of things that will come in this week and maybe a pattern here and there. I'm sorry, there was a hair um and items needed to finish projects that's probably about all the haul you're gonna see for a while <laughs> but it was really fun to go there today and get to peruse all the things and I appreciate my husband for taking me and hanging out and being so well behaved one of the ladies was impressed that he sat in his chair <laughs> and didn't complain <laughs> He sat there for over an hour and he didn't whine and complain. <laughs> He's good like that. Most of the time. <laughs> um, 
Um, and I think, I think that's everything that I wanted to tell y'all this week. Of course, I always do this. I always remember things I wanted to tell y'all after I get off. But, you know, that's how it goes. So, remember to answer um, in the comments. Let me know what length of videos you like. Do you like 30 minutes or less? Or do you like that more that 30 minutes to an hour range? Um, just I'm just curious what different people like. And then also... Um, What else did I say to let me know in the comments? I don't remember, but I asked you something else. <laughs> oh, goodness. I really don't remember. Oh, oh, now I do. If And let me know um, if you would like <laughs> a video um, kind of tutorial-ish thing of how, um, how I paint these up. So just let me know and um, um, I'm hoping this week to maybe make um, a separate um, ADHD focus video kind of telling um, my ADHD story um, how I came to be diagnosed and things like that because I was only diagnosed about four or five years ago um, and and my mental health journey as well um, it's a whole big ball of yarn all tangled up together <laughs> but so um i'll hopefully have that out sometime this week um in the next few days hopefully i'll be able to do that before next week's floss tube and next week if y'all get me to if we get to 100 subscribers before next week we'll have a little giveaway next week <laughs> so Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your kind comments and thanks for the likes and all the things. Um, it's like I told my husband today and one of the ladies at the shop that, you know, I started this so he wouldn't have to hear me go on and on about it. I mean, I'm still going to talk about stuff to some degree. I mean, he knows what 14 count means. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's heard a lot, but... Even if I'm talking to nobody, even if nobody watched these, um, it's fun just to get to sit and talk about cross stitch in depth to the universe <laughs> for a little while. And, and I really do enjoy watching everyone on FlossTube. I've been watching more and more, just discovering all the different people because I really enjoy watching other people talk about it. and. Hopefully one day I'll get to go to a retreat or something like that. Some kind of stitchy meetup and talk in real life. <laughs> but so thank you so much for joining me and um, I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.